We have a general fascination for the late 60s. Two years ago, we had an exhibition about preservation, and, and from that emerged that the late 60s and the early 70s are almost a black hole in the conscience of preservation, that those buildings are mostly under threat, uh, because nobody knows what to do with them. And, and they're actually part of a very utopian mentality. Of course, their effect on the city has often been damaging, uh, and of course, utopia is, is dangerous. But you can wonder, and an overdose of utopia is, is dangerous, but you can wonder in today's situation, which is in a way characterized by an underdose of utopia, whether that's not equally dangerous or, or, or more. So the kind of experimental uh, mentality, the all-inclusive nature of the architecture, that the architecture actually did have a social pretension, did actually claim that it could more, do more than just being architecture, is a very uh, inspiring thing to us. So rather than the buildings itself, it is a kind of mentality that we think could actually be very, very fruitful today. Brutalism is very interesting because brutalism in that time was the expression of the welfare state, which had an essentially benign mission. And it is very ironic that in a way a very benign mission is expressed in such a brutal way. And conversely, again, you can argue that uh, you know some of the more, some of the lesser benign systems of today uh, choose a very friendly sort of architecture to, con to conceal what might not be a squeaky clean mission. But there is a there is an inherent paradox between the brutal appearance of these buildings and actually the social mission that they were part of. Of course, this is an exhibition also about concrete. The popular verdict on concrete is, of course, incredibly negative. But, of course, the invention of reinforced concrete allowed more people to be housed quicker than in any other period of history. Reinforced concrete is still the main element of construction in any building today. Without reinforced concrete, I mean, there could not have been the 20th century building effort. Nevertheless, today we choose to hide what they choose to show.